Learn oil field stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This video is part 2 of our video series about casing strings. In the previous video, we explained what are casing and tubing strings and what are their functions. Now, in this video, we will talk about conductor casing strings, which is typically the first string set in a well. Conductor casing strings plays an important role. That is. Conductor casing is used to protect loose near surface formations and to prevent shallow gas or water flows. So how are conductor casing strings selected and designed? There are several factors that need to be considered, such as The depth and diameter of the hole The type and strength of the soil The expected pressure and temperature of the well The weight and size of the bop and the wellhead the environmental conditions and regulations. Based on these factors, the conductor casing string should have enough wall thickness, collapse resistance, burst resistance, and tensile strength to withstand the loads and stresses during installation and operation. The installation and cementing of conductor casing strings can be done in different ways, depending on the location and type of the well. Some of the common methods are Driving This involves using a hammer or a pile driver to drive the casing into the ground. This method is fast and simple, but it may cause damage to the casing or the soil. Jetting This involves using high-pressure water jets to erode the soil and create a hole for the casing. This method is suitable for soft soils, but it may cause washouts or caving. Drilling This involves using a drill bit and a drill string to drill a hole for the casing. This method is suitable for hard or unstable soils but it may require more time and equipment. After installing the casing, it is cemented in place to seal the annulus between the casing and the hole. Cementing also provides additional support and protection for the casing. Cementing can be done by pumping cement slurry through the casing or by using pre-mixed cement bags that are dropped into the hole. Conductor casing strings are not without problems. Some of the common problems and solutions associated with conductor casing strings are Corrosion. This is caused by exposure to water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, or other corrosive agents. Corrosion can weaken or perforate the casing wall, leading to leaks or failures. Corrosion can be prevented or reduced by using corrosion-resistant materials, coatings, inhibitors, or cathodic protection. Erosion. This is caused by abrasion from sand, gravel, or other solid particles in the fluid flow. Erosion can wear out or damage the casing wall, leading to leaks or failures. Buckling. This is caused by excessive bending or compression of the casing due to external forces, such as soil movement, temperature changes, or axial loads. 
buckling can deform or fracture the casing wall, leading to leaks or failures. Buckling can be prevented or reduced by using adequate wall thickness, collapse resistance, tensile strength, and cementing. That's all for this video. We hope you learned something new about conductor casing strings. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. In the next video we will talk about the surface casing string and its purposes. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.